Oh, hello again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, install the print driver on uh, Tonic Minolta BitHub uh, C220. Uh, it applies to basically all the BitHub series. Uh, running the printer driver installation from the CD that comes with the machine. So now I've just plugged the CD, uh, put the CD in, into the computer and I run the the auto run on the CD. and you get the welcome screen up, we click on printer install so just a prerequisite to this, what I've done so far is just uh, plug the machine into the network and I have assigned a manual IP address so I click on yes to continue Click on Agree, select the top one, Install Printers, click Next. And you can see now the wizard searches for any printers that are on the network applicable to this printer driver installation. If you've got more than one you can see that uh, they show up here. I'm just going to select uh, the second one here and I go if you if it doesn't show up there you can specify the printer down here by typing in the IP address manually in some cases the some cases the auto detect doesn't work so I'll click on next uh, on this screen uh, you can see the list of printer drivers that are installed so in this case as default it'll install the postscript driver as well as the PCL driver and the XPS driver if you only want one driver in most cases I would I might recommend only install the PCL driver on a normal Windows computer so I'll just select the PCL one, hit OK and install. For some users it might be confusing to install more than one uh, printer driver just keep it simple and install one. You can see now the installation has been completed so what I can do now, before I hit finish here, you can rename the printer. So as a default, it names it C360 series, for example. I might want to specify here that it's a uh, C220 and PCL, and hit OK to that. A couple of other things I might want to do is go into properties here, and I might want to change the default settings, for example, to many users default to uh, prefer to default it to black and white printing by default so in that case I go into advanced and printing defaults remember that the advanced printing defaults that's the default for any new computer or any new user that is connecting to the printer driver on this particular machine so I can go uh, in here you can see uh, uh, further down here, select color auto is default, so I could change that to grayscale. And anyone connecting to this uh, computer now or this printer driver will have default black and white printing or grayscale printing. Say OK to that. Uh, another thing you may want to default to, for example, double sided printing to side paper. And you can also go into the print settings here, and that would be. These are the preferences for this particular user uh, logged into this machine and you can see that's already grayscale there but if I wanted this particular user to actually default to color I could override the default and change it back to color and that will apply only for that user not for everyone else uh, connecting to the same machine and I can print the test page to confirm that the, the printing is set up correctly and finish and exit. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day.